to have both uh, Thespian Societies here, middle school and high school. And I'd like to welcome you all to the June induction ceremony and to welcome our students who are going to be recognized for their work in the performing arts. I would like to now welcome our high school principal, Miss Green, to the podium to start us off and start off this. academics, the athletics, arts, and service. And one of the things that I think makes this so special is this an, is another way that we elevate the arts in our community. And you all have done a tremendous job in your productions and everything behind the scenes to do just that. I thought what I'd like to do, first of all, is tell you a little bit about this organization in case you're not familiar with it. And I just have learned this recently, thank you, Emily, um, that this was an organization that was established in the United States in 1929 um, in West Virginia. And it's named after the Greek performer Thespis, who according to the legend was considered to be the very first actor this organization has more than 2.2 million members and troops scattered around the world. And this is a relatively new endeavor here at ACS that Ms. McGarrigal brought to our school. And the society sponsors international theater conferences where our students and students around the world can perform, can audition, and can even apply for scholarships from this organization. So tonight, we are delighted that we are going to induct 10 members into the ACS Junior Thespian Troop and five members into the Senior Thespian Troop. Now, what you need to know about this is that these um, students have earned a, significant, a certain number of points based on a scale that's determined by the International Thespian Society. And so their points come from a variety of categories, whether they've worked backstage, they've performed, they have to do this through a lot of hard work in order to reach um, the ability to enter the society. So tonight, we're going to uh, welcome you all in. And so the goals of this society are to make sure there's a place for young people to have excellent theater arts that surround them and to honor students who do and engage in theater well. And this is something that we're really delighted to have here at ACS. So on behalf of the high school faculty and the middle school faculty, we say a big congratulations. Thank you for having us here. Tonight. on the points, uh, junior thespians have to do five hours of good theater performance work. Anything that relates to performance, singing, instruments, dancing, acting, anything that has to do with performance on stage, even speech and debate or, you know, spoken poetry, slam poetry, all of that counts as anything. Any festivals they go to, any type of um, workshops that they attend or give counts towards points. Junior thespians have to earn five hours to gain a point. Senior thespians, little stakes are a little higher. They have to do 10, 10 hours to get one point. So I would like to continue on and invite the president of the Senior Thespian Society up to speak for a minute. Let us pause to reflect on the many aspects of the evolution of our art which encompass all the major forms of human expression. It is the continuing search to find the answers to mysteries that motivate the human personality. Just as, early, just as our early ancestors dramatized a crisis in their lives, 
So today, we come to the theater in search of answers, and this is how the theater art has become part of our cultural heritage. I call upon the scribe. During the 6th century BC, one, <coughs> one of the writers of tragedy at the festival of, of, uh, of uh, Dionysus was Cespis, a new dimension was added to drama when Cespis, who was a prominent leader of the Greek uh, chorus, stepped in his group and recited portions of his drama alone, an act that defined him as the first actor. It was he who first used masks in performance in order to in order for a single person to portray more than just one part. The mask is now used globally to represent theater. In honor of this early Greek writer, performer, and actor, all actors are called thespians from Thespis. Uh, in his honor, we are the International Thespian Society. We have as our emblem uh, two masks of comedy and tragedy etched in gold, uh, colors of gold and blue bound together with a thespian T. We light this candle in memory of Thespis, and we light it to remind the wearers of the masks that the emblem represents a proud and dignified heritage, and that this heritage is now entrusted upon us. I ask the president to come up and uh, speak while I light our first candle. No one knows when people began to dance. Archaeologists believe that people have always danced. Wherever people lived, the dance drama developed. People created rhythm and imagined an imagination which expressed in dance and their actions emotions, prayers, hopes, dreams, and sometimes simply the joys of our human existence. We light this candle from the, th from the thespian candle in honor, of the, uh, in honor of the art of acting without words, dance, and pantomime. pantomime. language of time and space, and it is a record of feeling. The beginnings of music have been buried through the centuries, um, but humanity has found musical form in tone, quality, pitch, and rhythm. I light this candle in honor of the musical expression of ideas and feelings that enhance so much of theater today. Words become symbols for thoughts, and as a result, speech becomes a part of the total human experience. Today, we can reveal our thoughts, hope, and inspire to inspirations to other people through the spoken words. I light this candle in honor of speech, which lifts human beings from ordinary realities to entire worlds beyond, especially the worlds that are created on stage. comedy, beauty, mystery, and escape from the current world could all be created through words and written form. I light this candle in honor of dramatic literature, each script depicting the agonies and comedies of the human drama and providing the map to guide the process of creating literature. We like We light this candle in honor of all that is drama, from the use of artistic light, lighting to focus attention, to the painting of the scenery, to the creation of props, to costume creating characters, the makeup on the actor's face, from the soundless movements of acting to the rhythmic movements of dance, from playwright's script that will heighten our awareness of the world to the spoken speech. We honor all that arts that are part uh, of theater. Oh no, trust her. In a very real sense, the 
theater today knows no bounds. The theater speaks to us all, and at the same time, it speaks for us all. It is a critical voice exhorting people to become aware of the world in which they live and to pass judgment upon it. It is a social voice, inhibiting both our nobility and our pettiness. Most of all, it is a prophetic voice. Truly, to paraphrase Shakespeare, all the world is our stage, and we, the men and women, are its players. I light this candle to honor the impact drama has on our society. I will now call each of the affiliates and list their points totals so far achieved by the Thespian Society. I ask that each affiliate, after their name has been read, come forward, sign the scroll, and receive their candle. I am sorry for any mispronunciation of names. <laughs> Let's start with junior thespians. Adam Clark with 10 points. <laughs> Elisha Engineer, 11 points. <laughs> Ava Hawkins, 39 points. <laughs> Katerina Kosha, 12 points. Kushi Matnani, 24.68 points. <laughs> Leah Panga, 22.1 points. <laughs> Lilia Abrenica, 27 points. <laughs> Mario Pons Romera, 13 points. Navia Chowder Hurry, uh, 16.1 points. <laughs> Nay Kotic, 17.5 points. <laughs> now, moving on to the senior thespians, we have Aradna Sathis Kumar. <laughs> with 10 points. <laughs> Matea White with 13.85 points. <laughs> Minati Mo with 16.1 points. <laughs> Tanya Baby Nine, 20.7 points. <laughs> and finally, Yudidio Tigo with uh, 10.35 points. traffic jam over there with signing the scroll <laughs> and then we'll continue. continuing desire to work towards higher standards in both theater productions, education, and the arts programs. Therefore, membership places upon you an obligation of performing your best with the knowledge that great honor comes to those who, through cooperation and collaboration, accept greater responsibilities. I now ask all new members of the Thespian Troop 9050 and also 10491 to repeat after me the pledge. I promise to uphold 
promise to uphold the aims and ideals of the International Thespian Society. To the aims and ideals of the International Thespian Society. I am a student of theater. I am a student of theater. And excellence is my ideal. And excellence is my ideal. I promise to perform my part as well as I can. I promise to perform my part as well as I can. To accept praise and criticism with grace. To accept praise and criticism with grace. To cooperate with my fellow thespians. To cooperate with my fellow thespians. And work for the good of the troop. And work for the good of the troop. And to share my love of theater. And to share my love of theater. The pledge that you have just taken binds you to the principles and ideals of the International Thespian Society. You have the responsibility to do the tasks assigned to you. You are to cooperate with your troop officers and fellow students as well as you're able and teachers and administrators in helping to raise the standards of excellence in all areas of theater and in your personal experience. You are to refrain from any action that may hinder the work of your troop. You are to conduct yourself so that you may gain the continued respect of your school and your community. The following students here have met the requirements for membership in the International Thespian Society, an honor and a reward for their participation in the theater program at this school. We welcome you as new thespians and urge you to use your talents so that your candles may shine more brilliantly as you act well your parts. We have confidence in your ability to achieve success. As you now extinguish your candles, resolve to always let that flame glow in your hearts. <laughs> if I could ask the thespians to now come and collect the candles from our newly um, entered inductees and then if I could have my points manager come and read the points once more names at this point in time inductees you are not officially really here until you've shaken the hand of your president of the troop and also your troop director which just about happens to be me so you're gonna come along shake our hands and we're gonna give you your certificate okay Nay, Kotish. Nice. Nice, sorry. Um, actually, you did your Tibo. You did your Tibo. Tanya, baby nine. Congratulations, Jericho. Minati Mo. Sorry, Mattia. Yeah, yeah. What? Did you guess? Okay. Minati Mo. Congratulations. Mattia White. Nay, sorry, Arodna Seth. Uh, yep. Sorry. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. Navia Kausjury. Mario Pons Romero. Leah Panga. Kushi Matna Matnani. <laughs> Katerina Kosha. Ava Hawkins. Congratulations. 
Alyssa Engineer. Adam Clark. certificates serve as evidence of the honor that you've received to help promote the theater arts. You have here a certificate. You may open it and take a look. Um, and then you will get in August your induction pin of member, power <laughs> parent of a thespian, and a few other little goodies here and there. And then you will always have that then for you to have the motto of the thespians, which is from Alexander Pope's essay on men, act well your part, there all the honor lies. By the authority delegated to me by the International Thespian Society, I now declare you guys members of Troop 9050 and 10491. And now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to go into our um, celebration of stars. Okay, so Carly, come on up as points manager. So, uh, I am just going to clarify what a star is. A star is an additional 10 points to the 10 points required to be part of the Thespian International Society. So um, let's start with the junior Thespians. Um, Ava Hawkins with two stars, which is 39 points. Kushi Matnani with one star with 24.68 points. Leah Panga with one star with 22.1 points. <laughs> then moving on to the senior thespians, we have our scribe Tanya Baby Nine with one star with 20.7 points. <laughs> Vice President. <laughs> Roy Doe, which is our scribe, <laughs> one star with 23, 23 points. And then myself, um, the points manager, with one star with 20.9 points. Not inflated, not padded. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In addition, um, we have a couple of certificates to hand out. Um, so what we have is we had a vote. The thespians decided to vote on who would amplify the best thespian in this semester. We give them out one, uh, twice a year, once in January and then once in June. And there was a tie for two contenders for this uh, amazing award, which basically says, are you exemplifying everything that we um, would love to have? And are, are you acting with honor? And are you doing everything to support the troupe and be an advocate for the arts? And instead of trying to pick one, I've decided to actually honor both of these two amazing individuals because they've put in a lot of energy and effort into this. So if I could call forward, please, Emily Coslar. <laughs> and also Jules. Thank you so much. I also have an additional certificate to hand out, and these are for students who received uh, not only doing amazing amount of work in regards to theater and performance, but also keeping their academic grades high. So we have a certificate which is called the Thespian Scholar. Um, in the junior Thespians, we you guys are standard based, so we have yet to figure out what that means for you guys. <laughs> but up in high school, we have a GPA, and so the GPA uh, ca um, category for this is a 3.75 or higher. All right? I'd like to honor Carly Borlandetti. Oh. <laughs> I'd also like to honor Abai Sultanbek. Mateo White. And finally,
Emily Bailison. Congratulations to everyone here. Um, now we come to the last portion of our event, and we are, of course, got all our pages out of order, but this is okay. Um, so please welcome all of our new thespians. Uh, recognize the honor that. Um, we have Thespian Scholars, Best Thespians, and those who have earned additional stars for tonight. And let's give them one final round of applause for these guys. Well and I'd like to invite up um, the President to our final closeout speech. We are pleased to have parents, friends, and special guests with us on this occasion. May we extend our cordial invitation to future induction ceremonies, as well as future ACS arts performances and special events. We hope you are able to support Thespian's organization's organized events and other ACS events, including band and choir performances. I would also like to point out that the Thespians, it's very much run as a, tr uh, a troop of officers and it's student led, student run, student organized. Um, I was in a meeting on 10 past five and then I waltzed in here to the event and it was already set up, everything was organized, decorated. The entire officer team and all the Thespians got together to create this and this is what we do. We, we give advocacy, we give responsibility to the students in this so that they learn um, progressively over time how to take on those roles and responsibilities. So thank you so much for your um, uh, your work in putting on this wonderful event. And I would like to invite up Mr. Poulin to close us out. Well, thank you everybody for coming to this event. This is a, an important event that honors one of our four pillars here in the school. Um, I wanna thank you for attending our ceremony. Uh, this evening and especially for our parents for continuing to support their children in the arts. Um, we see how well they thrive on stage and backstage as well and I want to thank you for everything that you have helped bring to our community this year. Um, it's my pleasure to invite you to stay for some, re uh, some refreshments on the, on the side. We have some coffee and things like that um, and to greet our newest members of the Thespian Society. Congratulations. came into school yesterday to create some um, goodie bags for you guys. Uh, so they have some baskets of goodness. Okay? Uh, they're scattered around. There's some for non-thespians to enjoy and then there's baskets for thespians to enjoy. The only difference is um, a, 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 a pin, I believe, a badge. So uh, please, guys, get up, have fun. Let's get some music. Wow.